Hey there, thank you so much for choosing Spotlighter. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to add your first video. So as you can see here, uh, this is their main dashboard where you will see all of your videos listed where you can choose to edit your videos, uh, delete them, add them to groups, etc. We'll go through the My Videos dashboard in another video. Um, for now, let's go ahead and create your first video. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the new video button at the top. And what you're going to see here is two main options to add your first video. The first is to upload a file and the second is to add a URL from another platform. Let's go ahead and upload a file. I'll click here and we will then see two options for uploading. The first one is to use my own storage. And for this option, you can integrate with your own Amazon S3 and upload to your Amazon account through the Spotlighter integration. The second option here is to upload direct to the Spotlighter cloud. And before we do that, you see an option here to secure my video. That basically means that when you upload your video, if this is enabled, we will encrypt your video. Once your video is encrypted, the browser plugins and extensions that allow people to download videos without permission will be ineffective. So if you are concerned about video security and people downloading your videos without your permission, you should keep this option checked. All right, let's go ahead and click upload to Spotlighter and I'll just choose a file here. And once it's validated, it'll start the upload process. Okay, it's already been uploaded. As you can see here, it says we are processing your video. You don't need to wait for that processing to be finished. You can go ahead and continue. So I'll go ahead and name this. And as you can see on the right, before you save and continue, you can also add it to a group. We'll go ahead and add it to group one. And you can also apply settings from another video. Okay, let's go ahead and click on save and continue. As you can see, the video is still processing. So just keep that in mind. You can continue to edit and customize the video and even embed it on your website. But until that processing is finished, the video might not look right on your website. So just make sure you keep that in mind that once it's processed, your video will look just fine on your website. But we don't want you to have to wait for this processing to finish. That's why we allow you to go ahead and customize your video. Now we'll go through all of these options in another video, but just so you understand how the video editing page looks here, everything is broken down into these main options over here. You have your video settings, which is your general video settings. You have the appearance and style of your video, your player controls. This will be uh, all of the options you have for the controls, like hiding your timeline, uh, showing the remaining time, enabling your video download, those sort of things. These are your playback options, which were your options for how your video will play to your viewers. We have some interactions and gates. This is where you'll find all your overlays, email capture gates, uh, all the all the buttons and links that you can add on top of your video will be uh, created here. And then we have some advanced options and some beta features. We're going to go ahead and click publish. And you can see here you can grab your embed code or your watch page. The embed code is what you're going to use when you want to add your video to your own website. And the watch page is a page that you can use to share your video quickly with anyone you'd like. All right, let's go back to the video. And you can see the video says that it has been processed. We'll go ahead and go back to the dashboard. And you can see the first video upload here has been uh, completed and is now listed in my videos. So let's go back to new video again. And the process for adding the URL is pretty similar. I'll just click here and grab a URL real quick. Okay, so I grabbed a URL from YouTube. I'll go ahead and paste that in and click validate. Okay, I'll go ahead and pause that. And as you can see, the video starts to play there after it's validated. I'll go ahead and name this. I'll add it to a group. And click save and continue. Now this video is not being uploaded, so there is no processing time. So you don't need to worry about that. If I go ahead and go back to my videos. 
you will see that video up here and you'll see a little icon there noting that it is a YouTube video. Okay, that's all I have for you in this video. For more detailed explanations of other features of Spotlighter, please check our knowledge base. Have a nice day.